was always interested in the school. I needed to get away from my parents, so I moved far away, and this school had better radio and television equipment than Edwardsville, where I'm from. A lot of friends that came down here, wasn't happy with anywhere else, and had one of the best programs in the state for my major. I wanted somewhere new, and all my friends came here, and they got the nursing program. I just didn't want to live at home anymore, so I came here. It was a shot in the dark. I just applied, came down. I didn't even visit before I moved in. Me neither. It's the way to do it, though. The course is, I don't know, well structured and uh, getting a lot, getting a lot of knowledge. I like them. And structures are good, for sure. Most of them are good. Yeah, a lot. Okay. The ones you can understand. <coughs> yeah. The only yes. discrepancy I have is, as far as courses, is having an advisor who doesn't advise you on courses. Yeah, that's that new rule is, uh, I don't know, yeah, don't like that at all. These Advertising, because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Nursing, I've always liked medical stuff. Recreational management, I saw it was different. In the field being outdoors all the time just sounded like something that was me. Radio, television, because uh, that's what I want to do. I'm a aviation management, but I started out being aviation. I was wanting to fly, and the uh, program here is pretty expensive, so I stopped that. So I'm an aviation management major. And a jerry for minor. It's always got something going on. Mm -hmm. It's a good atmosphere. People are real friendly. A lot of opportunities to do different stuff from anywhere else in Illinois. It's like Especially a, up north. It's like a big hippie commune. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely oh. like the scenic backdrop in Carbondale and the fact that we can oh. always just go out in nature and. It's got the small town feel with a huge population. Yep. It, yeah. I do love the the outdoorsy, the Shawnee National Forest and all that stuff around here. I'd have to say the garbage, just because I find it the least appealing about Carbondale. <laughs> Garbage is and everybody yeah, goes to wise guys and the trash uh, can isn't big enough and yeah. like it's every it's like snow in styrofoam. Carbondale uh, tumbleweed. Carbondale I changed the uh I don't know guys hanging out at the liquor store asking you for change. We got really strong connections with like Nashville and even some in like Los Angeles. It's a really good networking school. For my major anyway. I see the opportunities to actually do something in your field of choice. Being able to go work at a radio station or a television station or for a news magazine or a magazine or the paper. I mean we have all our outlets of choice and then we keep creating more. So there's it's like limitless opportunity and there's no line there's no, you know, kind of tier that you're a senior, now you get to go there. You can do it from day one. So, I love that. I'd say for the aviation program, it's probably the instructors, because Carbondale is known as one of the premier in the region as far as aviation goes. So, And I can see it with the instructors we have down here. They're definitely top notch, and they know what they're talking about, for sure. Don't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the uh, 504 riot on, uh, that'd be southbound Illinois Street, southbound 51. There's a riot on Mill Street after the uh, jail wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that was my freshman year.
That was, that's probably like one of my most memorable movies, <laughs> <laughs> honestly. I think what caught me off guard was I didn't know anything about the drag race. And I saw some dude dressed in drag walk by, and I was like, oh, man, they look like a chick, but it was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, five minutes later, there was, like, 150 chicks that were dudes that walked by. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. I mean, dudes that were chicks? What, yeah, whatever it is. Or France or whatever. Yeah, it was weird. That. Yeah, I saw that, too. I, I didn't Nobody enlightened me as to what it was, and I was just like, oh, my God, there's a lot of trannies here, but... Turned out to be uh, the drag race. <laughs> Probably the riot last year when Obama won, like on the strip and then the towers. Love it. I hate it that so many trees are gone from the storm, though. Yeah. Like how widespread it is, I would to say. What they do with it. I guess they end up more than our campuses. What would I change about it? I don't know. Some of the buildings could be, like, you know, stripped of paint and repainted. Modernized. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, modernized, yeah. Um, I mean, need general side. landscaping is something that could be improved. You know, instead of weed room, we could have some wookie bars. Yeah. I like the biking. I like being able to ride my bike to class and ride it back. And they have little paint strips for us, so we don't have to like worry about traffic. Thompson Aside Woods is awesome. Occasional. Yeah, yeah, I like Thompson Woods. <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, definitely. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Why? Because it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. The field I'm in, the instruction is great. It's a, uh, I mean, everything I could ask for. And it's so um, easy to meet people, like, people are just so open. Yeah. The atmosphere is real good. I've never really heard anyone complain about any sort of details down here, school-wise, or just social life, whatever. The only problem is the uh, food in the dining halls, freshman year. That's the only thing I will 